Who am I? I'm Paul, an aspiring TV and radio personality. I have Asperger's. That's a diagnosis, not a disability. But enough about me. On with the show. That's how it all began, in April of 2008. And now it was time for the final visit with Paul. By the time I got to Robinson, he was already very hard at work in his geosystems class. I immediately noticed an improvement in his ability to stay on task. Paul was quick to point out that this was not his favorite subject, but he did very much enjoy the video presentations. Must be his passion for media shining through. We set off for the TV studio, where Paul has had so many shining moments as host of Good Morning Robinson, the school's morning news show. My first question for him was the same as last year's. What are the three most important things you've learned this year? Uh, the three most important things I've learned this year are that just because you have different opinions, you should think before you say them out loud. You have to work really hard at things to achieve them in your life. You get good grades if you study harder than you normally do. How do you think you've changed since you started ninth grade here at Robinson? I've changed by starting here at Robinson by being more socially appropriate. I've become better doing homework and studying. What do you hope to be doing one year from now? I hope to be getting my driver's license one year from now as well as taking radio communication classes at Nova. And I also hope to get a part-time job to earn money for my car. To that end, Paul has taken on a number of voiceover projects and most recently has been collaborating with Donna Piscatelli, recording her children's books. In the end, they both hope the readings will get to YouTube, giving Paul's talent its first broad exposure to the general public. Like aliens from another planet or make-believe like cartoons. Donna was quick to point out the strengths he has brought to their partnership. Paul has what seems an innate ability to understand characters and voice and how to make the written word come alive for the reader or for the listener in his case. That's a real gift. That's not something that anybody has taught him over the years. So for him to just sit down never having the seen the books before, the and be able to let them, the characters walk and talk grade. off the page. I can't think of a more ideal right fit for this project. In the past year, Paul found another passion, the world of personal finance. We journeyed on to the class where his new abilities landed him the job of CEO. It was clear that Paul's personality and aptitude made him a natural leader. His teacher, Arian Berenbegi, appreciates how Paul energizes the classroom. Uh, he comes with a great attitude, uh, ready to work and ready to learn every day. Um, he's very uh, dedicated and committed to the class uh, uh, in finishing all his work on time. It's something that's very important oh, to him. Could, uh, and as a result uh, of his passion for being a radio announcer, he's taken a major role in the class by volunteering to read you know, a lot of the introduction for the assignments that we have. He's added uh, great value to our class. He brings a certain spirit to the class. I've mentioned this on numerous times to Paul. I'll be so happy the day that I uh, turn, tune into a radio in the future and I hear Paul's voice in the radio. Um, and that's going to be an incredible day for me. Throughout Paul's time at Robinson, Greg Kamitsky has been the guiding force in helping Paul not only discover his passion, but use it as a motivational tool to help him succeed as a student and a person. It was Greg who helped Paul get his first voiceover gig and subsequent assignments reading children's books. But the work Paul so craved was only handed out if his social and academic benchmarks were met. Greg is rightfully proud of the remarkable results of this strategy. When he first came to us, we had to support him and he demanded support pretty much from the very beginning of school to the end when he left on the bus. And we had to develop a behavior plan to work on his focus within his academics and his behavior within the school and even in transition. And as time passed on, we were able to release the behavior plan and pull back some of the support year by year and year. And Paul has been able to take on more personal responsibility. And now his grades are A-B across the board. And he's on his own, passed all of his SOLs. And now we're about one step away from standard diploma. 
For the past five years, following Paul has been an immensely satisfying project. We've met so many people that have dedicated themselves to get him to this point. And of course, let us not discount all the work Paul has put in. Presumably, Paul will graduate this spring with a standard diploma and achieve his goal of being just like everybody else. But for everyone who knows him, Paul is anything but everybody else. I'll, I'll really miss working with you, well, Kim. We'll have to figure out what else we could do. Oh, right? really?